Okay, time to make bread. Okay, I think we're ready. This is the um, first part of the auto lease. Now, let's mix this for about 10 minutes or so. It feels pretty good, it smells good. So, I'm gonna let it sit for an hour and then we'll get on, our, going to get on to our next steps. Okay. Looking good. Yep. Feeling good. Time to add the salt. fed the starter around 11 o'clock last night. It's around 8 this morning. It's nice and healthy. It looks good. Grows a decent amount. So let's get some of this. Okay, I think we're good. Mixed it for about 11, 12 minutes. Consistency looks good, it looks, smells good. I think it's right. So, put it in a bowl, keep, put it in another bowl. I use a glass bowl. Put it in this bowl, uh, let it sit for an hour, and then we'll start on our folds. This is looking good so far, I think. So let's give it a first stretch. Okay, yeah, it's stretching nice. My hand is nice and wet. Uh, the dough is starting to get that smell, the proper smell. Ooh, nice and stretchy this morning. I just keep stretching it until it doesn't really want to stretch anymore. And it, when it folds, it almost is like a book. You see it's starting to smooth. When it folds, it's kind of like a book. It feels like a book, it kind of feels hefty. I'm feeling already starting to feel little bubbles when I'm pulling it with my fingers. So that's good. All those little bubbles uh, equate to bread rising. So I don't know how well you can see, but there's like little holes in the bread. And that's what we're looking for. At least this is everything I've gathered from both watching people make sourdough on YouTube and my own experience of just doing it. So I'm definitely a visual learner and if you can put me in front of something so I can actually touch it and try to figure it out, I do way better than just theory. Theory is incredibly important, but practice is what actually counts. OK, 
Okay, wow. It's nice and tight. It already turned into a nice tight ball. So it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna let it sit for another hour. Okay, we have the second fold. It's looking pretty good. It's folding nice, so I think we're in good shape. We're already at the second fold. This morning is flying by. What is the second fold? It's going along really well. Um, it has a little bit of resistance, not as much elasticity as it needs, but it's getting close. Third and final fold, everything's looking good. It's getting airy, so. a nice ball I think it's I think it's great I think it's working great so uh, another hour and then we'll shape it into a pan and we're in good shape pretty good. It's starting to smell good too. That's always a good sign. with a roll, I think the better it is. So The idea is to try to get it as uniform as possible. The more uniform, the better the better it aesthetically looks. And I think it just cooks more evenly. It feels pretty like like puffy already, which is good. So this is floured. Put this guy in here. It looks pretty straight in the pan. So that way it'll it won't have like a weird twist or anything in it. Not, it that doesn't affect the flavor at all, but just for my own, for my just aesthetics, I guess. Uh, put it in here, cover it with saran wrap, and it's 12:53 in the afternoon. Probably get this in the oven by about two, so maybe give this like two hours. It's going to spread out a bit. It's going to fluff up a little bit, and uh, I think uh, we'll have a loaf of bread this evening.
it's in, it's ready. Set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, count it down. Should be good. It rose a little bit, so I think we're in good shape. Okay, it's time to take the aluminum foil off. These are okay. okay. Minutes. Um, looks good. Let's, let's take a look. So boom. Now uh, from there to there, looks really good. It's got a nice color, to, uh, nice color to it right now. But I'm gonna brown it up, of course. Uh, the ears don't look too bad. The slits look like they actually went right this time. So uh, just waiting for it to brown, and then we'll have it out and we'll take a really good look. Looks looks fake. <laughs> okay. Really pretty sheen on it. So it's got a real nice shiny top to it. Um, I rolled it a bit tighter and I rolled it um, more evenly. So I think that's why it's nice and shiny right here and tight. The slits that I put on there came out looking really nice. I mean, if nothing else, it's very pretty to look at. Um, it smells good, so I'm... Uh, just got to give it its rest like it needs for a few hours, but uh, I think uh, we got a good loaf here. It looks great at least. Yeah, that weird split almost looks like an eye. That's funny. It is great. Okay. Wow, it feels uh, like you won something when you get to this point. It's like, oh, everything worked out. I've had it fail. No. Uh, feels good to have one out and then it looks good too. So, uh, a few hours, we'll give it a try. Okay, it's the next day. Like I said, this bread is one of the prettier loaves, at least in looks, it looks really pretty. The, uh, the top is nice and shiny. Uh, the slits went pretty well. So let's go ahead and cut this open. Looks good, not too many giant holes, good air. Looks looks okay. Smells good. So let's give it a try. Yeah. Tastes great. The, um, the best way to eat this for me is toasted. Either toast it in a pan with a grilled cheese, toast it in the toaster, or with um, French toast actually is coming out pretty good too. So all those options are good. This is, um, it, it tastes as good as it looks. So I'm very happy with that. This one might even be like a B plus.